I know the fans and everybody all over the world that sees it is going to see if I want it. But if he wins his fair and square, I give it to him and everything. But you know, like I said, I'm willing to go up there. Uh, I don't care. A true champion goes anywhere. Oh. Leo, the, the, the fight was a majority decision again. It was very close. You won it. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the scorecards. You won because you closed very strong. You won the last four rounds on two judges' cards. You won three out of the last four on the other, uh, the third scorecard. That's what gave you uh, the margin of victory. Did you feel like going into the last part of the fight that you were maybe behind and that you really had to pick up the pace and really get in there and, uh, and, and slug it out a little more than you had earlier in the fight with the boxing to, to get the job done? No, the, tr the truth is I thought I was winning, you know, uh, the fight, you know, the first rounds, and I thought I won them. You know, I was boxing him and everything. There were close rounds that, you know, he put pressure and he got me good shots and everything. But, you know, I thought I was, I was winning the fight, you know, uh, and, uh, but I knew I, ha I couldn't lose any rounds, you know, I had to, like, put it, like, clearly that win all the rounds. But, you know, uh, this is what it is, and I use respect to judges, and whatever it is, you know, I knew I, I won the fight. Good night for LA too with Mikey getting the belt too. What's it like for you guys to bring those belts back to Southern California? I feel great, you know, like you know, like I said, it feels like I was fighting for my first world title. That's what I had in my mind. And you know, Mikey Garcia, he's a great friend. You know, I know him since the amateur. We were in the same tournament, and thanks to Robert Garcia, you know, and him, uh, we, we signed, we turned pro, and everything. And I just, you know, we we they're a great family too, and everything. So you know, I really respect them, and I'm really glad that they won the the belt too. Hey Leo, right here. Um, you look to be a little winded uh, about midway through the fight, and you you seem to lose a little steam on your punches. Did, did you get a second wind, or did you feel did you feel strong? The I, I didn't time? feel out. I didn't. I didn't sense him getting winded for this latest <laughs> one. Yeah, no, you know, I was just you know being. I didn't wanna go out there and and throw more. You know, cause I was. Yeah, I didn't want to get tired. I didn't want him to give him the, you know, because I know if I didn't throw more stuff, he was gonna maybe win the rounds and so. But yeah, I mean, I was taking, you know, my pace and everything, not to try not to get tired, because you know, from the you coming out stronger and stronger, and you know, I just did what I had to do. But yeah, maybe a little bit, but then I got my second win. Yeah. Next class, would you be open to fighting somebody like another Abner Mars fight or even a Gary Russell if he comes off with the win over in Scumbone? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, the truth, uh, you know, I would like to. Give him something because you know he deserves it. He's a great fighter, a great man, and like I said, you know, if, if the manager they come to an agreement and they make the third fight, uh, that was the first fight I would like to you know because I, you know, I respect them, great guy, great man, and I would like to give him the third fight because he deserves it. But you know, I also said I would want to give the rematch to Abner Mares, uh, unification against Les, Lee Selby, Gary Russell, Oscar Valdez. You know, any of them. I'm already I'm here to fight the best. I want to fight the best, and you no know, matter what order. Um, my manager is gonna take care of that, and I'm just up here, and I'm gonna go to the gym and train, and whatever comes, I'm up for it. You know, I, I won the first fight, he won the second fight. Let's let's just do it straight straight away again. Um, my, I want to fight. I, I want to fight in Belfast next. That's what I want to do. I, I feel like I've been on the road for two years now. I haven't fought at home. My, my fans are having to pay a lot of money to come and support me, and. I want to thank them first and foremost. They, they, they come in their numbers, but they're paying a lot of money. I would like to repay them with a fight at home, um, and hopefully, hopefully that, that can happen. But again, I think that uh, I think the decision was fair tonight. I think the decision was fair in the first fight. Um, so you know, let's get it right and, and, and settle the score in number three. And it wasn't the start that I wanted. Um, I kind of settled down and, and come into it a little bit and then got a little bit silly at times. I think Leo was, a lot of the rounds were close but he used his experience and he, and he stole the rounds right at the end and you know first in the last 15 seconds, last 10 seconds and I was going back to the corner with my head down thinking 10 seconds before it was a half decent round and Leo had just stole it but that's, that's experience for you. Um, but, you know, again, it was a close fight, but, uh, you know, hand on heart, I feel that the decision was fair, and I think that uh, Leo won it. How disappointed are you? I'm disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed. You know, I, I, I'm a winner. You know, I want to win. I want to win all the time. I, I, I come away uh, for a long time from my family. Uh, you know, I don't see my kids for a long time. I want to... 
I want to win for my kids. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Thank you. It's a good fight. A question back here.